four identical machines can complete a job in nine hours? How long would it take three of the machines to complete the same job? Well, by the end of this video, we'll have a formula with which we can answer these questions, these questions with, with uh, changing numbers of identical machines in, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Um, uh, but I know I, for one, can only retain formulas if I understand them. So um, I don't want to just give you the formula, I want to I wanna derive it, and we'll use this question uh, to do that. So we've got the four machines and they do the job in nine hours, and then we've got to figure out how long it takes the three machines to do that same job. So the, f the group of four and the group of three are, are each doing the same amount of work, so we can start with that. The work done by the four is the same as the work done by the three. All right, let's see if we can, if we can keep going with this. Well, well, we can convert from work to uh, 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 to get the, the time involved, to, to, we can convert from work to, to involve rate and time, and we can use our little mnemonic down here. Work is rate times time. So the work that the four do will be the, the rate of the four working together times the time that it takes those four working together, and that's going to be the same. That'll equal the rate of the three working together times the time of the three working together. And let's see, well a few videos to a few videos ago we said that that one of the fundamental rules of, of, of combined work is that we can get combined rates. We can get combined rates just by adding individual rates. So this rate of the four working together, well we could get that by just saying that's the rate of one of the machines plus the rate of another machine plus the rate of another plus the rate of another. Just four individual sh machines working together will give us, or added together, will give us the rate of uh, the four working at the same time. So now we've got those four times the time of the four still and the same thing on this side, right? An individual rate plus another individual rate plus another individual rate times the time of those three working together, and that's, that still represents the work that those three do. And let's see, now we can do some algebra. Uh, uh, rate one plus rate one plus rate one plus rate one, that's just four times the rate of an individual. We've still got our T4 over here, the time of the four working together, equals three times rate of an individual machine times t3. And this is nice because now we've got a variable that's the same on both sides. We've got rate of an individual over here, rate of an individual over here, so we can just divide both sides by, by r1. r1 is now gone and we have four times the time of those four working together equals three times the time of the three working together. And I guess from this, for this question, we're now, we're now in very good shape to answer it. Because, well, we have the time of the four machines working together, and we're looking for the time of the three machines working together. So we can just plug in. Now we have four times the time of the four working together is nine equals three times t of the t3, the three working together, and I guess we can just divide both sides by three, divide this side by three, and uh, my three cancels with my nine, which becomes a three, and then we find that four times three, or 12, 12 hours equals the time of the three working together. So that's the I guess that would be the answer to this question. And the, the, the step that made it very easy, it was very easy once we got down here. Once we had this equation, we were able to very quickly plug in. And I'd say, now that we understand that equation, that's a, that's a good equation to take as a, as a method on its own. Um, uh, so how could we put this in equation form? Well, this was this was the four workers 
times their time, times how long it took. So we can say, we can say the old number of workers times their time, times the, the old time, I can say, times the old time. And that equaled the new number of workers. We reduced the number of machines down to three equals the new number of workers times their time, times how long it takes them. The new time, let's say. New time. And uh, this is a formula that I have appreciated on many occasions. Uh, if a question like this shows up with identical machines and you know you add some machines or take some machines away, uh, then, then, then this formula makes quick work of those questions. Um, Right, and we could we could just we could have it like this, or or we could rewrite it if we want to think of it more as uh, a proportional relationship. We could rewrite it as fractions. I could divide both sides by the new number and divide both sides by old time, and that's going to lead me to old number over new number equals here. I'd have the new time divided by the old time equals new time over old time and I don't know maybe this is a maybe this one's a, a, a more intuitive version of this question it, it kind of makes sense that there's going to be a proportional relationship up here that the that the ratio of the numbers is going to be proportional to the ratio of the times of course it has to be inversely proportional right uh, here we've got the old on top and here we've got the old on bottom. It has to be inversely proportional because, well, if we if we reduce the number of machines, the number the, the amount of time needs to go up, right? Uh, in any case, however you want to remember this this formula, I, I I recommend that you well first understand it and then retain this formula uh, because it can really save a lot of time on the GMAT. And I guess we can call this. We can call this what we had. We had adding the rates was our combined work option number one. And then we had the shortcut formula for time of two workers. That was option number two. And we can call this the uh, combined work option number three. Option number three, which can be, I don't know. I, I, I like this equation a lot because it, it, it saves time with these questions that can be hard to, uh, uh, to wrap your head around. All right, let's take a look at an example. Uh, so take a few minutes and I guess pause the video and, and attack this question. All right, so I, I, I hope you've, give, you've paused the video and given this question a go um, uh, and we can go over it together now. Let's see. Eight identical machines working together can complete a job in 12 hours. If five of the machines break, how long would it take the remaining three machines to complete the job? Well, we've got identical, machi machi identical machines and we're changing the number so we can go to our our now trusty our now trusty identical machines formula which is the new well let's start with the old that makes more sense which is the old number of machines times the old time times how long it took those guys old time equals the new number times their time times the new time new time and uh, well, what do we get? The oh, we started with eight machines, eight machines, and their time was twelve. And then we took away five machines, so that left us with left us with three machines, and we're trying to find their time. So I guess we divide both sides by three here. Divide by three, and before I multiply these, I'm going to do whatever canceling I can. The three cancels with the 12 which becomes a 4 and then I have and these threes cancel of course and then I have 8 times 4 is 32 equals the time it takes for those three remaining machines and for this question that means C is our answer